Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Friday, May the 4th. It's the fifth week in Easter and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 73 and Leviticus 23, verse 1 to 22. And now join me, please, in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. To your hands are all the earth, and seas for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, truly God is good to Israel, to them that are pure of heart. Alleluia, Psalm 73, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, truly God is good to Israel to them that are pure of heart. And yet my feet were almost gone, my steps had almost slipped, for I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for they suffer no pain, their bodies are sleek and sound. They share not in human misfortune, and neither are they plagued like others. And therefore pride encircles them like a necklace, and violence covers them like a garment. Their hearts overflow with iniquity, they seethe with wicked thoughts. They are corrupt and speak wickedly, plotting oppression from on high. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their evil speech walks through the earth. And therefore the people turn to follow, and drink in all their words. And they say, How does God know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world they increase in riches. Truly I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocence, for all day long I have been plagued and punished every morning. If I say I will speak thus, I should offend the generation of your children, and when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me, until I went into the sanctuary of God. And then I understood the end of the wicked, Surely you set them in slippery places, and you cast them down to destruction. How suddenly they are brought to desolation! They are utterly consumed by terror and perish. Like a dream when one awakes, so God, when you awake, you shall make their image vanish. Thus, when my heart was grieved and I was cut to the quick, so foolish was I and ignorant, I was like a stupid beast before you. Nevertheless, I am always with you. You have held me by my right hand, and you shall guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me with glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none on earth that I desire beside you. My flesh and my heart strength, my flesh and my heart fail, but you are the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For they that are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all that are unfaithful. It is good for me to be near you. I have put my trust in you, God, that I may declare all of your works. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Truly God is good to Israel, to them that are pure of heart. Alleluia. A reading from Leviticus, chapter 23, beginning at verse 1. Yahweh spoke to Moses and said, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, These are the appointed festivals of Yahweh that you shall proclaim as holy convocations, my appointed festivals. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day, the seventh day is a Sabbath of complete rest, a holy convocation. 
you shall do no work. It is a Sabbath to the Most High throughout your settlements. These are the appointed festivals of the Most High, the holy convocations, which you shall celebrate at the time appointed for them. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, at twilight, there shall be a Passover offering to the Most High. And on the fifteenth day of the same month is the festival of unleavened bread to the Most High. Seven days you shall eat the unleavened bread. On the first day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupations. For seven days you shall present the Most High's offerings by fire. And on the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupations. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, when you enter the land that I am giving you, and you reap its harvest, you shall bring the sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. And he shall raise the sheaf before the Most High, that you may find acceptance. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall raise it. On the day when you raise the sheaf, you shall offer a lamb, a year old without blemish, as a burnt offering to Yahweh. And the grain offering with it shall be two tenths of an ephah of choice flour mixed with oil, an offering by fire of pleasing odor to the Most High. And the drink offering with it shall be of wine, one-fourth of a hen. And you shall eat no bread or parched grain or fresh ears until that very day, until you have brought the offering of your God. It is a statute forever throughout your generations in all your settlements. And from the day after the Sabbath, from the day on which you bring the sheaf of the, of the elevation offering, you shall count off seven weeks, and they shall be complete. You shall count until the day after the seventh Sabbath, fifty days. Then you shall present an offering of new grain to Yahweh. You shall bring from your settlements two loaves of bread as an elevation offering, each made of two tenths of an ephah, and they shall be of choice flour baked with leaven as first fruits to the Most High. You shall present with the bread seven lambs a year old without blemish, one young bull and two rams. They shall be a burnt offering to the Most High, along with their grain offering and their drink offerings, an offering by fire of pleasing odor to the Most High. You shall also offer one male goat for a sin offering and two male lambs a year old as sacrifice of well-being. And the priest shall raise them with the bread of the first fruits as an elevation offering before the Most High, together with the two lambs. They shall be holy to the Most High for the priest. And on that day you shall make proclamation. You shall hold a holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupation. This is a statute forever in all your settlements throughout your generations. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap to the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the alien. I am Yahweh, your God. Here ends the lesson. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Save us from pride and envy, dear God, and draw near and mercifully hear us. Guide us with your counsel and clothe us in your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.